ladies and gentlemen, Peter Rossi here from Ken Fletcher Park YouTube channel. We're down in Melbourne. Uh, we've come down to collect the bust of uh, Ken Fletcher. I just thought I'd start that YouTube out before the interview with Barbara. Um, standing in front of Roy Emerson uh, bust here at Melbourne Park. Roy Emerson, um, as you may know if you've got an interest in tennis, was one of the most successful uh, partners with Ken Fletcher uh, in doubles. And behind me, uh, is Margaret Court, which I'm hoping that you can see, um, and we'll just pan in a second so you can see that. My able assistant Nathan is shaking his head. Uh, and what we're also going to do is just uh, pick out the other Queenslanders um, of the bus here, uh, and hopefully I do uh, manage to get them uh, as we uh, as we uh, finish off this little bit of an introduction to uh, the YouTube of picking up the Ken Fletcher bus. So I'll just walk out of frame and Nathan uh, will pan and pick up Margaret Court. YouTube channel and I'm here with Barbara McLean and we're here with the cast um, of Ken Fletcher um, and we're not showing the bronze bust um, because we're keeping that in suspense for the official uh, unveiling by the Lord Mayor later in the year hopefully around December um, and this is just a beautiful piece uh, and this piece here is uh, destined to go into the coffee shop of Fru Park uh, and I'm hoping that it goes into a complete glass case in actual fact because it is just so beautiful whether for you looking at it from the back, the side, the front it's a gorgeous piece. Thank you. But, uh, you, you really are a true craftsperson. Um, but, so what I'm hoping to, uh, to elicit this afternoon if, Barbara, if you can just give us a little bit of uh, history as to how you managed to capture such uh, incredible detail just from photos? I think probably my early history, um, where I dealt with a lot of photography, gave me the um, discipline to really, really study what a photograph could offer. And now, after I've made so many portraits, I now really feel I can determine a lot about the person's character by viewing the photographs and uh, the different nuances that different angles give. Mm. It's hard three-dimensionally because you can never get a, um, a set of photographs where the person um, has been photographed from the back or from the side very often unless they're in action. So um, finding the essence of the person is the most important thing and I think that Ken uh, was a fairly free spirit and mm -hmm. quite a larrikin and very Australian um, and I think this captures that sort of sense of freedom and, and light-hearted and, and um, the work is fresh because of his attitude and, and disposition. So um, with, with the photographs you hope that there's going to be like an orange, the segment, how the pieces of an orange fit. Uh, then you've got the different angles, but um, yeah, it really has come up well. Thank you. I mean, if you didn't know Barbara Streisand had that nose um, until she gave you a profile, you'd have no idea. You mm, can't, have, and that's the same. So mm. there's a lot of um, guesswork, and and if it comes home, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you like it. Well, it, it, I um, had no doubt that the bus would turn out well because. Hugh Lunn, um, who's really quite uh, close to, uh, to Ken, as you got from the book yes. that you read, yes. um, it saw the unveiling of the original uh, at Melbourne Park when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, and he was just wrapped. Oh, good. So he was yes. just so, so happy, as yes. was Chuck uh, Feeney, for that matter, uh, yes. and 
everyone associated with yes. that bus when it was yes. unveiled were really, really, really happy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I love hearing that. Because yeah, I work so hard to try and get yeah, it right. Yeah. Because it's important. I mean, you're, you're, you're depicting a loved person. Mm. And um, mind you, everybody has a different idea of what somebody looks like. Mm. Uh, you can go to the same movie and come out and see different versions depending on you know, that person's take. But it seems that this has um, yeah, hit the home run. So well, it is, especially you know, when he was achieving all those great feats in... In, in tennis uh, and creating that yes. tremendous tennis history that he did. Can you turn him around? You can indeed. Yeah. It's a bit wonky, but never mind. How's that looking, Nathan? Good. Yes. Yeah, we have cam uh, camera hand, cameraman Nathan. Cameraman on Nathan. The job there's there. steps there because cameraman Nathan is how old? Nine. He's nine and he's not very tall, but he's doing a great job. Tall he's character. about a foot underneath the camera at this stage. There's steps behind you, Nathan. Yeah. No, that's great. Oh, good. As I said, it's the objective of uh, having this uh, cast, uh, yes. gypsum cast, yes. uh, is so that when it goes into through park, yeah. Um, which is where the old Milton Tennis Centre used to be, yes. um, then there's a link, uh, basically emotionally directing people. And with that we might just turn that off, oh, Nathan, so thank sorry. you, no, that's okay. So good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen, we're back now, um, and the way I thought we'd just uh, conclude this little section here was you'll see at the start of the, uh, the YouTube recordings I did quite a bit of work at Melbourne Park, and the one person I did forget, which I shouldn't have, was um, Wendy Turnbull. Uh, and Barbara, you and I were talking about uh, some of the interesting people, and Wendy's name came up. So, do you want to just give us a little feel of, of that particular bus? What do you remember of uh, Wendy Turnbull? Well, I, once again, I didn't meet Wendy until she came for her induction into the Hall of Fame, the Australian Tennis Hall of Fame, and she was delighted. She was just so happy, and, and she's a good mate of Thelma Long, oh, yes. and uh, quite a few um, other, well actually there were many female tennis players there uh, for that particular unveiling, and Wendy was delightful and she was happy with the work, so, you know, what, <laughs> that's all I want, she's yes. delighted to be happy. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Because we are in Brisbane now, we're um, collecting a petition, which I'm hoping that you can sign later on after we've yes. finished recording. Um, because there's a, a new green, which is part of the new fruit park, where this particular piece is going into, uh, to, which I said earlier, into the coffee shop. Yes. Um, and Wendy's nickname was the rabbit. Yes, I heard that. Yeah. So it was quite, yeah. It's quite uh, pleasing to see that... Uh, a green hopefully will be named after after Wendy because this the whole program between uh, the the bus uh, bronze bus going into Ken Fletcher Park and this uh, beautiful piece here going into uh, Fru Park uh, is to try and interlink the two and uh, at the same time as we're doing a petition for Wendy Turnbull we're also doing a petition for uh, Daphne Fancut uh, who was a wonderful person uh, much the same as Ken whose career and contribution to tennis and society uh, came to the fore after uh, yes. she's finished yes. her tennis uh, career. Yes. And Daphne Fancup was the coach of the new So again, those magic links between yes. the two, because Roy Emerson Tennis Centre at Fruit Park um, was a great doubles player with, uh, with Ken. Yeah. Um, and That's with that, the beauty of history, isn't it? It is, and it's, yeah. it's wonderful to see the Lord Mayor, um, Graham Quirk, um, taking a real interest and prodding yes. uh, Hugh Lund and me and others along to uh, to uh, see a vision come to uh, fruition. Well, pioneers are always the ones that blaze the trail and suffer the journey. So congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, with that, we'll say uh, good afternoon. And Barbara, again, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Racy here from... Ken Fletcher Park YouTube channel. We're on the way home, and Barbara, I've dropped into Wimbledon just for you to say thank you so much for giving Tennis Queensland the racket, your racket, your personal racket from when you were a child uh, and when you learned to play tennis. 
Um, I think the package of the YouTube and the message should come out really well. And again, Barbara, thank you ever so much. So you've just seen some footage that my son here Nathan shot at Barbara's uh, studio and he did such a great job, I just wanted to say thank you Nathan for doing that. Now what we're on about is that on the way back uh, I picked up this particular racket here in Warwick and that's where we are. We're in Warwick uh, on Sunday. Uh, last night uh, Queensland was represented in the women's doubles final uh, by Barty. Um, and didn't find, get through to the finals unfortunately, but uh, that's the game of tennis. And so what we've got here from Donna and Wayne uh, Henman is a gift to Queensland Tennis Museum. Um, and the only request that they had is that we had to try and find out who E. Davison was, because this was a Christmas gift in 1933, uh, 60 years after Wimbledon was set up. Um, and many years ago in Queensland's history, and it's a Christmas gift, Christmas 1933. And it's a wonderful little mystery to finish off this current YouTube on. And with that, I'll say good afternoon and thank you for watching.